Hello everybody, today I'm going to run through setting up the Kubernetes cluster using CentOS 8 as the OS and Docker 20 as the container system. So let's get started. First off what you can see is in my console here I am running a couple of commands just so as we can watch as the cluster comes up. The first being Kubernetes get nodes Y. That will show us the nodes as they come online, the version of Docker and the version of Kubernetes that they are running. Secondly, we are looking at the pods and watching them as they come up so as I can explain what is happening during the startup. Thirdly down the bottom here, this is where I'll be running our commands. So to start with, I'm going to get our API server up and running and I'm telling it to advertise itself upon the IP address of what our master is running. As that comes up, we'll see in a minute that it will give us two commands, or several commands to run. The first commands are to copy our kubeconfig file into the right location. That way our commands will work. As you can see right now, those commands are erroring with a X509 certificate. If we have a look, here is our copy command. So we shall be running that and copying it into our local kubeconfig location, being in our home directory, in directory called .cube. And now we can see our cluster running. The second one is our join command. That is going to allow all our cluster nodes to join in. So I'll just quickly run that in the background on our nodes. And we'll see they'll start to come up and we'll see them appear up the top here in our list of nodes. And we'll also see pods as we can see right now for the nodes, they've started to come up. We have all of our base Kubernetes running. But what we see here is our core DNS is pending. The reason why that's pending is because it requires that we have our network set up. Now our network that we are using is called Weave. So we'll now install that. It, in, it deploys several resources into our cluster. We can see them coming up here. And in a moment, as they are all start running, we'll see that the cube core DNS starts creating its containers and running. We now have a functioning system, but we need a few more tools installed. The next tool to install is Metal LB. We do that via a couple of YAMLs, directly off the uh, Weave, uh, sorry, off the Metal LB Git repository. The first one creates a namespace, and the second one actually installs our load balancer. So this is how we actually get access onto our workloads through IP addresses or DNS host names if we set them up once our cluster is running and suitable pods are deployed. However, one last thing that we do need for Weave is a configuration. I already have one here suitable for my network that has in it a config map it's deploying it into our metal LB and it's called config. It simply contains a IP address range suitable for our network where it can provision all public access to. So we can now deploy that and we will now have the ability to provision load balances into the system. The next thing that we need to do is create a cert manager. As the cert manager will go into its own namespace and this is used for de uh, deploying self-signed certificates or you can use a public ACME CA provider if your service is available on the internet. We then are going to deploy some CRDs or custom resource definitions for the cert manager. This will allow us to provision certificates shortly. We then move on to deploying via Helm. Now this will take some time for the cert manager normally to start up. However, as we can see, the webhook, whilst it isn't running, was a slight delay. The last one that we want to do that's important for most workloads is to set up an ingress. Now we are setting up 
the latest version of Nginx Ingress. That way we'll be able to expose websites all behind a single IP address. Now as we have the Metal LB system up and running and we have given it an address pool, we should be able to see using cube CTL get service minus A for all namespaces an IP address associated with our ingress controller. And indeed, there it is. So continuing on, the next thing that we will use is Rancher. And the reason why I'm using Rancher is it has in it Fleet, which is a GitOps tool, which we will cover in later videos. So once again, we start by creating a namespace. And then we install Rancher, telling it that we want to actually set the host name to be that which can be found in our system. In my case, it's Rancher Glow Block Home. Now, the website isn't available yet and won't be until all of Rancher is running. But what we can do is we can now give it a service using kubectl that is exposed to my local uh, my local network from within that range of what Metal LB has using this exposed deployment rancher and the ports. So as we can see, rancher is now starting to run. It has one pod up and running, still has several to go, and it's starting to move into Helm. What the Helm operators do is deploy all the fleet, which we can also see has started to be deployed. And in a minute, we will be fully up and running, ready to look at Rancher. We'll go into Rancher in a later video as well. Hope you've enjoyed. This is how to get a simple cluster up and running very, very quickly.